Welcome into the season review of the Ireland Luck of the Irish series. It uh, wasn't um, a good end to the um, tour of Sri Lanka. Um, we were crushed by five wickets. Walker got a handy 40 and one for 17. That was a pick of our players there in this game. Four for 15 for uh, Kodakara. Uh, three for 35 for Thurindu. They were just regular wicket takers. And yeah, just a comfortable enough run chase for Sri Lanka. Mooney bowled quite well as well, I felt. But yeah, just a disappointing way to end it. But yeah, as the series um, were played, we were very competitive um, in that series. We had two drawn test matches, 2-1 uh, in the one-day series, which we probably could have won. Just going through this game, Sri Lanka were in Ireland at one point. We did defeat them in the first one-day international game. Probably should have beaten them in the second one. But yeah, just a wee bit better than us uh, there. And we had, we had four draws against Sri Lanka in four test matches. South Africa and Ireland, again, Ireland getting it 2-1 uh, there. Yeah, proud of um, Ireland in this series. Like, we won two test matches against India. That was a phenomenal effort. And we were dominated in the other other games because they were really good. Um, World Cup was kind of disappointing. I don't really want to talk about that. Managed to defeat um, Zimbabwe in an away test series. So the test matches have been going phenomenally well. We've really advanced in that. It's just the limited over stuff is just needing to be a bit better. Let's go to the player records now uh, for the year and go for the current year for Ireland. So Stoddard, 961 runs at 64. Phenomenal performer he has become. Um, Nolan and Hill were really good as well. Um, Nolan picking up a few hundreds in that Sri Lankan tour. 716 runs for him. Six, 679 for Hill. Tector was good as well. Um, Burton was reliable. That's what we need from um, a lot of our players. Um, Balls, average is boosted by that 100. Oliver was handy. Walker got for, average of 44. Yeah, it's just I need a new keeper coming through the ranks. And the wicket taking was a wee bit better. Like, we've got a few guys averaging in the mid sort of 30s, late 30s, which is not too bad. But yeah, um, overall, a really good test year. The one day international current year saw uh, Nolan topping the charts and Hill and Stoddard, top three, are doing a phenomenal job there. So we're getting the runs, and we're getting quite a few men um, amongst there. But yeah, a couple of uh, average of 50 for Hill. Um, yeah, phenomenal year. Wicket taking. It's just the bowling, yeah. Humphreys, 12 wickets at 26 was probably a pick of our bowlers. Walker, 10 wickets at 30.9 could be considered in the future, along with Foster. Yeah, little starting to battle a little bit. Um, Mooney's sort of very green, but he's got a um, lot of experience already. And the 20 over stuff, yeah, we've still got a lot of work to do in this format. Like, we're very bad at the World Cup again. And, yeah, the top run score is... 240 over to 17 is just simply not going to cut it. Yeah, those averages are abysmal. Um, 22 at 16 for Mooney, 16 at 17 for Little. Those two exceptional, and the rest not so good. But yeah, um, a, a good year for Test uh, Cricket for Ireland. A series win against India, series win against Zimbabwe. Um, four drawn Test matches against Sri Lanka. It's just seen us move in the world rankings in the right direction. We are in 10th ahead of Australia now. Just... One point behind Afghanistan. Can we sneak above them? I think we can. Still a big um, gap between us and Zimbabwe on that one-day table. We have to somehow get up on that. And we're in 10th in the 20 over stuff. So, yeah, again, it's just a case of um, getting some wins and Series 1s and moving our way up on that. But, yeah, smash the like button, share with friends, guys. We'll be back for our Series 1. We'll see who we're playing then.